Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our second tutorial class of Power BI, where we just discuss how to import data into Power BI. If you guys missed the first tutorial of Power BI, so I will recommend go and watch previous video as you will not get proper understanding of the concepts. So let's get started. First, we will go to this section, which is known as external data. That means you can fetch the data from external sources. First you click on this icon which name is get data. Now you can see there are various options are here like SQL Server, Excel Workbook, Power BI Dataset and so on. Now we have just only Excel file in our system. So we will learn how to import Excel data in Power BI Desktop. So what I'll do I'll just simply click on Excel Workbook. Now you can see guys new window has pop up and we can see here there are lots of Excel file are here. So what I'll do, I'll just simply click on customer data and click on open. Now you can see new window has pop up and what you need to do, you just need to simply click on this small checkbox. After that, you need to click transform data. You don't need to click load because the data you are importing is not in a manner that you want. So you may have to first clean up the data. Once the data is been cleaned up, then we can load into the Power BI desktop. So what I'll do first, simply click on transform data. Now you guys can see here is new window pop up and this window is known as Power Query Editor where we can clean up our data. If I go to the taskbar, we can see there are two windows are open. The first one is Power BI Desktop and the second window is Power Query Editor. So we will just only talk about Power Query Editor. So we will study in detail but for now only what I will do, I will do some basic changes in our data so you guys can better understanding like why we are choosing transform before loading. In this window you guys can see here various features. Firstly I will remove all null values. This is the only requirement which I can see here. I will go to the customer ID and click this drop down and uncheck this null value and click OK. So you guys can see all null values are removed. After that we can go to the close and apply and it's time to upload into Power BI desktop. And click on apply changes. Now you can see data is being uploaded into Power BI. Now you can guys see here customer table has uploaded into field section. Now you can also see the data here as well which is in data view. So in this tutorial class we have just only learned how we can import our data into Power BI desktop. I have provided customer table link in the description box so you guys can download excel file from there for practice. In our upcoming classes we will cover up some basic features about Power Query editor in detail. So please stay tuned with us and please support this channel and don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much guys.